Jennifer. So let's go to the freelancer business model. Yun pa. It was just an intro. So what does it take to be a freelancer? I asked the question, why do you want to be a freelancer? And I I heard some of you guys here say, well, you're curious how freelancing is. You know that freelancers can earn a lot. And then three is that there's a lot of opportunities to freelance. But then, not everyone is cut out for it. Some freelancers start, but they don't finish. Some freelancers try to explore, but they don't move forward. Out of curiosity, they start with freelancing. Now, the question for you is that, are you even ready to be a freelancer? So as a freelancer, these are the things that you should expect to do. First is that you are willing to work at flexible hours. Is this true, freelancers? Because some of your clients might not be in the same time zone as you. So expect that you might be awake in the middle of the night while everyone is still sleeping, but you, your online, your sign languaging, <laughs> whatever, and trying to deliver the, the service that you promised. And the next is spend working time mostly alone and talking to peers online. And this is one of the possible disadvantages when you are freelancing. You're just lucky that you have the tech for ed because you can come to one place and work with, yeah, with other people. But some freelancers actually just stay at home and then they don't talk to anyone. There was one time when I was working from home, I had to stand up and talk to myself just to remember my voice. Like, uh, hello? Hmm. Okay. Sige, balik. Pag-ana ba kayo? Wala kay Kasturia. You don't... You're alone. Imagine that you're doing things solo. You're alone. It becomes boring. It's really different when you are working in an office setup, right? It's different when you're working in an office because you can talk to other people. You can bully them. <laughs> you can... You can I know build rapport with your with your office mates, but in freelancing you're solo. Diba? <laughs> Next, okay. When you start handling a good number of online jobs, your social life will also be affected. That is why Natui uh, there was one talk that I had, I forgot it already, but you choose from out of five you choose three. Your health, your your uh, your health, your family, your social life, your financial. There was five five options and then you only have to choose three. And one of that Nama disregard your name, it's really your social life. So people would people's lives would pass by and still you're there, you're freelancing, you're working with your with your um virtual office mates and then ang uban daga nagipang buhat nag travel travel nag ana ikaw kay same job same oo na nagko na ilang maanak ikaw kay naghapon ka dira pilit sa imong laptop so murag kung kulang na lang uyabon ni imong laptop na na lang imong social life imong laptop na lang siya <laughs> next you can lose projects hence the need to actively seek opportunities that is why you are being trained right now to handle two. You have two campaigns, the MSME and the freelancer, because that is the fact of life as a freelancer. While you are working on your client projects, you also have to promote yourself. If you don't promote yourself, once you lose that project, what's your opportunity? What's your next opportunity? You won't have one because you forgot to promote yourself. So, dira na ka magkarakara. Uy, mag-update pa ko sa akong online profile. Uy, mag-upload pa ko sa akong portfolio. Uy, mag-send pa ko mga proposals. Ulahi na. And then, how long would it take you to get your next job or your next project? It would take you like one month, di ba? Or two months. And then, what would happen in between? Mahurot yung mga savings as a freelancer. Right? That is why you have to continually promote yourself while working on projects. Next. You may also fail to meet client expectation at times, thus the need to recover for it. And this is one that, one that I want to emphasize because so this is the same with me. When I work with clients, like offline clients in Cebu, sometimes, namanjuri times, 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 namanjuri times
for example, kanang nai project, and then ang client kanang mundang siya, kaya wala siya ganahan sa inyong work. Dibdibo ni mo ba? Unsay may effect sa mo anak kung dibdibo ni mong project? Mag-cause siya anxiety, maka-cause siya depression. Sometimes you have to really accept the fact na wala lang jud mo nagkasinabot sa customer. Wala mo nag-match. Naman yung inganap. Mura rin gugo nag-uyab-uyab. Good, di ba? Murag... Wala mo yung chemistry. Yung saan man yun. Like, you did your best, but it wasn't enough. Di ba? So, there are times where it would happen, but don't take it personally. And you need to recover from it. Yes, I mean, it would really happen to you, especially if you are the type na you, you want to offer your best work. But then your client would say, this is not a good job, you know, so I need to end the contract. And then for you, you were relying on it because nakagimantlihan, nakagidatadatahan, or ka nga, this tut ni undang, niabot na si Judith, no? No, na, nanguan na, naningil na si Judith. Unya, niyon ka nga, this tut na undang naman akong job. Huma naman akong project, wala akong ga-expect, gifire ko. So what would you do, di ba? So you need to recover from this time because this is the fact of life as a freelancer. You have to prepare for unexpected things. It's not the same as a regular work. It's not the same as a 9 to 5 work, a full-time work na bisan pag maglangay-langay ka karong adlawa or bisan pag wakay buhaton, pag matanin mo ugma, napagihapon kay trabaho. Freelancing is not like that because in reality, you are monitored. If not today, then the scope of whole, your whole work, mayon sila nga, ah, this, this guy is slacking off. I'm seeing that his team metric is all about just YouTube. He's not doing much work. Diba na may mga sites like Upwork where they really monitor your screens. They monitor your clicks. They monitor what sites you're visiting. Diba? And then if you, they see that you're slacking off, what would happen? They would fire you. Diba? So, even though it might seem simple and anyone can say yes, that anyone that you can be a freelancer, a lot of them don't actually last long. Have you heard of people who started freelancing and then after one month, yundang na sila, balik og nitag tinood niya trabaho? Because it's actually a lot to do. Being a freelancer is not an easy work. The more you want to achieve things in your life, the more you have to give up, and it is a never-ending process. And that's one thing you have to learn as a freelancer. There are really lots of things that you need to give up. You need to give up your social life, sometimes your health, in exchange for the opportunities, in exchange for the financial improvement in your life. But on the downside, there are things that you gave up already. And for me, I didn't want to give up family time. And when I was freelancing, what I did to my son, I homeschooled him. Because I don't want him to go to school and then, ako isa sa balay, wala yung kastorya. Diba? Ingana akong life as a freelancer eh. So, niyan ako, nag-decide me sa family, why don't we put him in a homeschool? So, karon uso na homeschooling, diba? But during my time, that was like four years ago, kami ang one of the first gihapon na nag-homeschooling. Di pa uso homeschool. Karon ang akong kid, kina naman siya sa high school, so nana siya sa regular school. But when he was three years old, he start na ko siya homeschooling while nagtrabaho ko online. Kaya I don't want to give up my family time. So kana ang sacrifices, you have to be unconventional. Your life will become unconventional when you are a freelancer. You're not the same as any other person yung makita ni mo. Muntan ako sa silingan, ana, skwila siya. Ana, siya trabaho sa municipio 8 to 5. Pero ikaw, as a freelancer, unsa mong kinabuhi. Dili jud na predictable. Dili ka kaingon nga imong kinabuhi karon nga month the same as next because your job for this month might be different from the next month. Maybe na nakay Canadian nga client for the next. So lahi na imong time zone. The next month na pa Australian client or juggle kag a lot, di ba? So lahi lahi ang imo ang lifestyle and it means that you have to be flexible in your life. Can you be flexible? Kaya ninyo maghandle nga nang kinds of stress. That's freelancing. Multitasker? See? Sige. Magpaka ng mga multitasker. 
So it's the same as this program sa training na nato, di ba? Unsa man inyong give up, gi give up para ma-complete ang ato ang training? Some of you are multitasking like divine, di ba? But some of you can't multitask. What are you giving up? Wa na shay time sa iyang anak unsa pa? Ta nakagapuyo sa Tech for Ed. One at time sa labunon, one at time sa uyab, sa bana, sa asawas, kabit, sa pa. <laughs> Nanay daghang nalimtan, di ba? One at time sa task. Nagulugulong buhay na. See, that's the reality of freelancing. Because, of course, at the end of the day, you want to achieve something. And you want to do something for the family that you love. Or for your larger goal, your long-term goal. So, question is, are you ready to be a freelancer? Yes, na yes. Yes, na yes. R-I-S, yes, na yes. It is a doorway to self-discovery. Because the more that you work on your freelance projects, the more you realize something about yourself. Like for me, I realized that my love is really about social media. I realized that I wanted freedom. You know? There were a lot of times when I considered nga mubalik na lang kung ko ano eh mangita na lang jud ko tinuod trabaho but at the end of the day ko maghuna-huna ko ba nga trabaho magina 8 to 5 na iko kita sa kung anak then ang imong time is ma-traffic pa ka padulong sa trabaho pagkahuman trabaho traffic na pud before ka kauli especially sa bu nga traffic kay sa nga tanan taingon jud ko nga dapat maring kamot jud ko nga mo continue ang akong kuan akong gibuhat like having a digital team, having clients, okay. if it's the other way around, like I'm not free, one thing to uh, discover mo how much you love freedom when you're freelancing. It's freedom. You don't have control nimo. Except the clients. You <laughs> control them. And with the growth mindset, like I mentioned, I mentioned ako ni sa day zero, growth mindset. Anything you put your mind into, you grow na siya. If you want to learn how to cook, how to sew, how to play a musical instrument. As long as you put your mind into it and you put your time into it, maglaan kag oras, then you'll be able to grow. The same thing that you're doing here in the training, the more you continue writing, the more you become good at writing. The more you continue building websites, the more you become good at building better WordPress websites. So growth mindset. So what is what is your freelancer toolkit? Unsa kung sundalo pa ka, Unsay mo mga armas? Kani. Your portfolio. This is very important. Because if your potential client sees you or is interested in you, but you can't show him good work, hindi ka kakapakita nga nakatrabaho na ka o nindot ng mga project, would they even hire you? Would they even consider your rate? Basi na nga yung pagdako kayo sa mga tanan nga rate, pero pagpangayo sa yung portfolio, wala ka match. Ka, uy, anong $10 per hour man ka, pero yung mga trabaho, mga $1 level. So you need your portfolio cleaned up and ready to show to the next potential client. Your work here in digital jobs, ang imong trabaho sa imong MSME, that is your potential portfolio. Not potential portfolio, portfolio dyan na nimo. Kaya ka na imong trabaho karon. So make good sa inyong websites. Because kung magpakita ay na ang trabaho, Pwede niyo ipakita ang kaning site sa inyong MSME and tell them, this is my work. Ako naghimo ani from ground up. Ako yung nag-screenshot ani. <laughs> Ako yung nag-build sa WordPress ani. Kabalo ko mukuti-kuti sa cPanel. Kabalo ko kung saan pag-change sa theme. Kabalo ko kung saan pag-check sa analytics, install sa search console. Kabalo ko kung saan pag-greenlight. Kanatanan yung ibuhat ka ron, kapanghambog na inyo sa inyong future clients. So make good anak. Tarungayin yung trabaho, ana. Para sa inyo, wala nag Portfolio na ninyo. Next, in your toolkit, in yung armas sunod, in yung website or blog. Because why? It shows what services you offer and your branding. That is why ako, always yun ako yun na maintain akong website. Sa una, akong site is personal pa to siya. Kanang, ganahan lagi ko mag-blog. So, sa so una pa na, dyan ang blog na ako. Uh, motoy reason nga na-fire ko. <laughs> you know, personal blog. But then I realized later on that because I'm working online, I have to make sure that my website is also presentable. And it shows what I can do. It shows the projects that I've worked on. So na akong 
Kani o, di ba? Kani siya is HubSpot mali. Kani siya is... Um, I forgot kung saan siya. O, napukoy chatbot dere. Eh. So, tanan nga, manalearn ninyo dere, eh. ma-apply ninyo na when you build your own website also. So, na yung portfolio dere, eh. like Meet, What is 30 Media Advocacy, Talks and Training, Speaker Bio, Personal Coaching. Kanis, bago na ko nga project i-launch, which is, I'm really proud of this. Kay, karun nga year, panina ko siya gi-subdan. Um, I had students before, like sa RIS, but Kanisha is like one-on-one -on -one personal coaching session. So I'm offering it for an hourly rate, and Kanisha sila so far ang mga nakatrabaho na ko. Like kanang calls, one-on-one, -on -one, coaching and mentoring. So sila ang mga nakatrabaho na nako. Si Natasha is nakoy tawag niya tonight gani. She is from Mexico. So she wants to be a freelancer. She wants to have her own business. Pero ang iyang trabaho karon is na put siya sa another call center. Pero gusto siya mag-offer og Facebook ads, gusto siya mag-Facebook campaigns. So I'm helping her transition to that. So ga mentoring session me. Ana, kani siya Australian, he's trying to get his roots down in Cebu. So I helped him with his um, website and also mentoring niya kung saon pag understand sa culture in Cebu. So si A, kanang ganahan po siya mag-make sa iyang digital agency. Um, I was mentoring her on how to get it started. So, kanang nga na, um, your website, you have to build your own website. You know how to make your MSMS website. Next in yung project dapat is in yung own yung website. Mag-make mong inyo ah. Para malista ninyo in yung mga portfolio, in yung mga services, kung sa inyo ma-offer. <laughs> Same ragyapon. Same nila. Mungutan na ta sa hosting eh, murag yapo na gasto. <laughs> Inga na siya. Kung <laughs> milyonarya na mo, kalimta na rin ko ninyo, no? Sige. Next sa inyong toolkit. Sige mo tago, lagi ko, basta mga tumo. Next na inyong armas, inyong gadget. Kung saan ninyo pag freelance, kung wala mo inyo ang laptop, wala mo inyo ang mobile phone, wala mo internet, Nanga, anhi na mag-tech for ed. What if si Rado, kaya natulog si Aikin? Diba? Affected in yung negosyo. So you have to invest in these gadgets. If you find your first clients, make sure nga kani ang top of mind din yung investment. Like, nana ko yung client, murag dugay-dugay yun yung client. Sure, dude ko. Kung confident mo na start mag-invest sa inyo ang mga gadgets. Next is apps. So nana kay gadget, kailangan ni mag-apps. Of course, there's a host of free tools na Basecamp, na IT Metric, na Trello, daghan og free. But uh, for reference, for example, kaning apps for coordination na tay Basecamp, Trello, na Gmail, free man na siya. You can use G Drive or Dropbox kung mag-share-share na kag-photos or gamitin nyo ang Canva. Kung mayon mo sa yung client, Canva or kung naibaw answer. <laughs> diba? So, pwede nyo i-share. Para sa itong ipakita nyo how to share the link. So, Canva, you can use that. Ang pinaka-heavy use karon is always G-Drive. So, um, kanayin nyo pag si screenshot, then share-share, magamit na ninyo later. Okay, heavy ang pag-use sa cloud um, tools karon. Uh, G Suite, G-Drive, same na Google na siya tanan. Time tracking, customer relationship management like HubSpot. And of course, payments. Sige ko balik-balik ninyo, Ani. How can you be a freelancer kung di mo mabayran? So, what do you need para mabayran mo? Payoneer, create an account. PayPal, money pinaka-first na akong gihimo, Jude. When I was started freelancing, PayPal did so. Na naman ko ibang account, so dali ra kayo pag-connect na ko sa PayPal. Uh, my clients paid using PayPal, akong ginawithdraw sa bank. Inga na siya. Eh. That's how easy PayPal can be for you. So, if you don't have a bank account though, you can always use Payoneer. Okay, kung isulod ang money dito, pwede ninyo siya ma kuan ma direct swipe kung magbuy mo groceries more sa credit card ang paggamit pag sign up use your mobile phone nara siya mga verification and then you can kuan o mga ID di ba mo na tong gingon nga ang requirements sa mga ID kay ID ra pud gyapon di ba <laughs> ang pinaka basic jud ninyo kuhaon is start mo with NSO Oh, mo na akong i-start katong wala jud ko tanan, wala koy mga IDs, ana, nothing kinilayas lagi mi. So ang pinaka first na mo gikuha NSO, dira na, PSA na na siya karon.
mo na pinaka start get your PSA start getting your IDs like mag NBA oh, clearance ka una see. police clearance dira man na kuan man na basic ra man ilang pa kayo on and then pag nana kay NBA clearance start na kag kuha og postal ID official man na pag nana kay postal ID pwede na ka SSS bank account ka na so you really have to start slow nga na start with the smallest nga nga ID which is the PSA so kung wala mo yung official IDs karon so good bug kuha og ka ng PSA Philippine Statistics Authority na document. So, kana siya. So, karon maningil ko ninyo. Asa inyong pioneer, PayPal, o Paymaya. Sign up na mo, Ani. Ha? Katoon, naghimog is lag police clearance. O, oh, nag-issue mo gani sila. Kamu di ay... Postal ID. Postal ID. Kaya manani mo ng 500. Pangutang ni Marie Freo. Sige na, pahilos. Five hundred At least ka na. Investment na ninyo sa inyo ang mga future IDs. Makapassport mo. Kalaglag na din mo. Mag snemzing. Sige, go through ta sa other tools. Ugma, mag-make mo ato ang mga account sa... So, na-itak sumo. Later on, if dako na yung negosyo, you can use tak sumo to pay your taxes. So kami, what we do is we actually hire a real bookkeeper. Okay, dako mo kayo sila great, good. So pwede ka mo check sa taxo mo if it's something that you can use. Oh, kung direct, kung wala mo yung bank account, then direct to ka, do, ano, for na mo mga platform, like let's say Upwork, and dili isla mo, mo disperse og money using that. They disperse using PayPal or Payoneer oh, or bank account. So that's why you need to have that. Oh. So ako ni share later. Um, this contains other tools that you can use. So na i Basecamp, na i HubSpot, na IT Metric, Harvest. So where can you find online work? This is what we need to do next in the next 45 minutes. Let's start making your profiles on these sites. So you have Upwork. Unsay gamit ninyo to look for work? Onlinejobs.ph Online jobs. Online jobs. Oh. So nai Upwork, nai 199 jobs, Fiverr, Freelancer, Rocket, GoLance, Filipino Freelancers, People Per Hour. Unsa pa man? Napa ba? Active pa dekaro? Goro? Goro? Money tap karon niya. Ah, oh, money gi butang nila ng tap ni Mam Janet. Oh, dagan sa Upwork, yes. Yes. Oh, so dapat portfolio ni mo pinakakuan, pinakagahi. Sige. Sige. So, freelancer business models. These are the business models of a freelancer. Take a look at this. You can become a guru. You can do retail or you can do membership. So, manonotice ninyo ang naiuban ng clients ninyo nga morag. Nga nung daghan may siyag mga member. Nga nung daghan may siyag mga client. So, maybe he's following some of these models. The guru is that they are a person or entity nga uh, expert sa isa ka service. One top of mind nga maingon ako nga guru is si Miss Janet. Nga ni yung type. But, as freelancer, you have to have different business model. Dili lang ka guru, you can also do retail or membership. Like later on, na kay mga pa-webinar, na kay group, 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 group mo, nga na, memberships. So, there are different models also when you do freelancing. In a guru revenue model, you can be a resource person. You can do consulting.
project management, project brief, requirements development. So meaning to say, if you are an expert already in one field, then you can hire others and become the resource person, or you can do consulting for, for clients that you have. In the retail revenue model, sometimes we charge ka per project or per task. I think this is the model of most freelancers. It's retail. Kana mo charge ka sa client per project, per hour, per task, per package. So that's retail. Under subscription model is service package per month. So kami, ingani amo ang model. Oh, so nami rates amo ang services per month. Ingana siya. Service packages me. So I'm gonna share this. Um, I'm gonna share these slides for you later. But this is more of a business model of how it would look like a business model canvas so that you can take a look at what the value proposition is in the freelancing industry. So freelancers who can accept outsource project. What are your new products? May ana. So lahi siya mga business model. I'll just share this to you in case you want to look at different models of freelancing. Now my questions.